Hi, and thanks for joining us for video number 10 on how to get KV Core set up and off to a fast start by building it into your business. Today, we're going to be talking about open house strategies with KV Core. And basically, how do you, you know, really leverage all the tools throughout the system, um, throughout the different processes, and, and in an open house strategy? So, if you notice here, I kind of mapped out um, the top five things I think you should do for an open house. Um, the first one is you need to pre market the open house. Um, the next one is you need to make sure that you group everyone from the open house together so that we can update them if the home reduces, if the home goes off the market, if I get a new home for sale in the neighborhood, anything like that. You want to make sure you use the hashtags to group them for, for those reasons and, and, and others. Um, you want to make sure you have good sign placement when you're holding the open house. So we'll kind of dive into what does that exactly mean. And then um, you also want to um, have... Um, an open house sign in mobile so that's where the kv open house app comes into play and you also want to build a specific value when you hold an open house what i notice when i coach a lot of agents on open houses they all kind of just do the same basic thing bake the cookies put the one sign in the every corner and, and kind of just do the thing right um but we want to dive in a little deeper and I'll, I'll walk you through what that means exactly and then the last one here, um, post open house follow-up. That just means when you're done with the open house, what do you do with all the time that you invested in setting up that open house to try to nurture those people the best that you can? So we'll go through some different processes on that as well. So I hope that you find this all um, you know, very useful. Uh, the first thing that we're going to cover is step one here, which is basically the pre-market of the open house. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a squeeze page, and you want to post that to social media, um, and then you can either do it through freeways, like posting in groups on your personal page, on your business page, stuff like that. Or you could do paid ways, which would be um, either through the Facebook ad, um, or you could also boost it on your business page. Either way, you could create an audience and target some people, spend 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 bucks, at, um, you know, over, uh, you know, three or seven days, whatever you wish, um, stuff like that. So um, let me just show you real quick how we're going to build a squeeze page because that's actually where we're going to start with the hashtag as well which is going to be the next thing that we talk about so um, in order to build a squeeze page what we have to do is we have to go over to our um, lead engine okay and over here we're going to go ahead and click on our um, site and it's going to go ahead and pull up our squeeze page builder now when it comes up the squeeze page builder we're going to use our single property squeeze page builder and what that's going to do is it's going to be based upon an MLS number. So let me just grab an MLS number real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this listing right here to do that. And uh, go back over here. You're going to use the single property squeeze page. And what you're going to notice is for source, you're going to put open house. For tag, you're going to put like Oak Street Open House. And then listing ID, you know, you're going to put in the MLS ID of the property. So when you do that, um, it's going to go ahead and create a special link for you. And these are the links that you're going to use on various pieces that we're going to be talking about today. Um, whenever we're talking about tracking something or, or forwarding it to a link, this is what the link that I'm referring to. It's a squeeze page link for the open house. Okay. So basically, if someone were to, let's say, you know, Go to this link right here. It's just basically the direct link to the property right inside the website. Just like that. So um, it's real simple, but that's basically what it's doing, just so you guys have an idea. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back over here. I just wanted to show you how to make that squeeze page real quick so we're all on the same page. Um, so we did the squeeze page. Now putting it out on Facebook or wherever you're going to put it out on Instagram or whatnot, you basically would just post that link out there, and that's how you're going to get the free traffic. In regards to posting in the MLS, you guys already do this all the time. I just want to reiterate, some people don't put their open houses in the, in the MLS. I really highly recommend that because it also typically goes out to Redfin and Zillow unless you're not sharing that data with them. But um, if you are, it goes out there to get you more exposure to your open house, and I, and I do highly recommend that. 
Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been at my own open houses and people have said, oh, I found you on Redfin. So I know that's from the MLS, okay? Um, using video landing pages. So basically, if you don't have a video of the home, then you obviously can't leverage this one. But if you do, I recommend doing a video landing page and then obviously putting that one out on Facebook the same way you do the squeeze page. Uh, but using the video landing page. So let me show you where that video landing page is so you kind of have a rough idea. Um, so here on your um, lead engine, all you're going to do is you're going to click here. And then you're going to go to here. And then you're going to change the type of landing page to a video landing page. So up here in the top, you just go to video plus leader video view. Depends on what you want to do. What I like to do is I actually do video view. And on this one, it doesn't make him register. And I use the URL after the login video would be that squeeze page link that we just made. So when they watch the video, they then get taken to the website right to the property details, just like we showed you over here of the of the house. Okay. So that that's the best way to do it um, when you're going out to build the landing page with the video. So you do obviously need to have the video recorded in order for that to all work effectively. Um, so, you know, those are a few ways that you're going to pre-market the um, open house. The next thing that you're going to do uh, after you've done the videos and the squeeze pages is you want to go into your CRM and you want to create a text code, like text open house to get a list of all open houses. And you actually can put this in, on your sign writer on the sign. You could also put it on any print advertising that you have for any listings that you have. And um, you could even do like a special like text, you know, open house one, open house two, and that could relate to different neighborhoods. And then the link that you'll use for this open house in the neighborhood is actually found on your website, believe it or not. And I'll show you where that is. It's really easy to find. So up here on your website, basically all you're going to do is you're going to, you know, select an area. And underneath like Carlsbad here, for example, is a city that we farm. Um, you're going to be able to see here a total of open houses, 57. So if I'm holding an open house here, I can actually create a text code that will link right here to this URL. And this URL, believe it or not, is an always up-to-date URL with all the open houses in Carlsbad. So no matter when they text it, they're going to always get that. So you just make that the response and the text code that you create. Now, if you don't know how to create a text code, we'll go back here to the lead engine. And we're going to go ahead and click on Call Capture. And the way you create that text code is right here underneath lead engine, call capture. You would just hit add new. And once you hit an add new, you're going to just go ahead and paste in that link. And when you paste in that link, that's what they receive. And then you receive their cell phone number. Okay. So just to give you a rough idea. Um, no, my internet is a little slow today. I apologize. All right, so once um, the text codes are here like this, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to add new, and then this is where you create the code, open house one, and then reply message. You would just paste in that link, um, and then basically that's the link that they're going to do. So you can just actually, you just pop in the ID up here, sorry. And that uh, basically sends them to the property inside the website, just like this one right here. Okay. So that's how you do it in regards to um, that. The next thing we're going to talk about is the mass communicating to the leads themselves. So, for example, you already have a database of hundreds or thousands of leads in the system. Why not take them and basically send them a mass text or email about your open house that you're having this coming weekend? So um, what you do there is you just basically go to the CRM, check mark the box, and mass text them. It's real easy. I'm not going to show you guys that. We'll take you through some in-depth videos and show you that as we go through this. But um. That's how you pre-market the open house. Those are the first steps. 
Now, the next step is making sure that we hashtagged it, like I showed you through the squeeze page. The reason why you want to do the hashtag is so that you can easily track the people that came from the open house. Um, so down the road, like I mentioned, if it you know reduces, sells, goes off market, you can communicate to those groups of people. Um, in addition to that, you can leverage the list of buyers for the next listing that you get in the area. So you say, hey, John, this home just listed. I know you're interested last time. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. If you want to get in to see it before it hits the market, you can do stuff like that. And then, um, you know, and then uh, tracking the results of the open house. Um, just letting you know, you know, what results exactly happened there on the open house um, in regards to the total number of leads. And then obviously, if you get additional sales from those leads, you know, what was the real value of the open house to you? So that's why, you know, using the hashtags are important. Without the hashtags, you don't get that information. Okay. Now, in regards to the open house sign-in and building value, um, so that's going to start off with basically the app. So we went through this a little bit earlier in the training sequence here about downloading the Open House app. So if you guys haven't done that, you want to go to your app store, look up KV Open House, download that tool. Now, when you download that tool, what it's going to allow you to do is basically create a sign-in for your Open House. So um, let me kind of walk you through what that looks like. So if you don't remember from the previous video. Um, it's going to look something like this. You're going to log in with your standard login info. Um, you're going to drop in that MLS ID of the listing that you're holding on Open House at right here. And then it's going to, you know, bring up a verification, make sure it's the right property. If it is, just confirm it. And then it's going to ask you, what do you want to require on this lead form? It has some different things. You know, if you want to ask them if they have an agent, you know, if you, how did they hear about the Open House? Would they be interested, interested in seeing other homes like this one? Stuff like that. Um, once they set that up, it's going to go through, you know, if you want to add in additional photos, put in the list price, bedrooms and baths, square feet, stuff like that, you can add that in there. And then what it's going to do is it's going to have the hashtag. So I like to keep the hashtag the same as we use on the squeeze page and everything so that it's all tracked as one. So I would just use the open, you know, Oak Street open house. Okay. Um, and then now you preview it. And then if it all looks good to you, you hit launch. Okay, and now this is what you're going to be handing the people that come into the open house. Okay, so the thing that's really important is once you have the open house and have everyone that's signed in, is to make sure that you um, come over here and you actually pop in your pin that you'll create, and this allows you to export the leads. When you export the leads, what that does is it puts them right on the CRM for you, and then you're able to start over again and have you know another open house or reuse the same open house down the road. Okay. But that's the open house app, super important. The one thing that's really important to have is a script when people come back to the open house. So if you notice here, the next thing is basically having a script for them. Um, so the script I like to use is, A, my sellers recommend that everyone that walks through their home, that they have some sort of documentation of who came in and who you know walked through. So they ask that everyone sign in. So I just hand them the tablet at that time. It's not really a question. It's more like here, you just have to sign in if you're gonna walk through. And um, they sign in at that point. So um, if they don't like it, you know, I just say, hey, if you were my client, I would want, you know, the same type of security for your home. So uh, we'd love it if you signed in um, at that point. So it usually works pretty good. I usually don't get much to any pushback at all, actually. So um, just give it a shot and see how it works in your marketplace. Um, lastly, here on the app is... Um, that's pretty much it, actually. So the next thing is that we're going to go on to building value at the open house. So building value at the open house. I mean, I can't tell you how many open houses I've been to that basically they're all the same. You know, they have the same type of strategy to get there. They have the same strategy when I'm there. So you want to be different in some way, shape, or form. So that's how you really add value to your open house. I know that one's how do you add value, but the real way you add value is to be different and to allow the consumer to leave the house with an actual document that explains to them something more they knew than what they knew when they came to the open house. Okay. So the value plan that I put together is actually that in each room you have a little flyer sitting out like in the master bedroom, for example, you're going to have a sales comp flyer. That's going to give a list of all the comps in the area. Um, and it also kind of helps them kind of know where the price of the home is coming from. But, you know, you lay that out so they can see that. And then in the kitchen, you're going to have the best areas to eat that are nearby. 
And what that's going to do is obviously, you know, let them know, hey, if they don't want to cook, this is where they can eat, and these are recommended. Um, kids' room, we're going to have what schools, parks, and activities for the kids are nearby. Um, so you wanted to make sure you have those all on different flyers. Now, within those flyers on the content, we're going to leverage some of those tools I've been showing you, like the text code, right? And then we're also going to do the domain name to a neighborhood page. So I showed you that Carlsbad page. You literally could just buy Carlsbad Homes and forward it to that domain name. And then instantly they can look at all Carlsbad, the neighborhood data. Okay, but um, that's how we're going to build value for the individuals that walk in. Because now when they leave the open house, they actually have four flyers. They have the flyer on the house, plus they have these three additional flyers. Okay, so that's how we build the value. Now, once we have people at the open house, we've built the value, we have the list, we've imported them into the system. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we have to follow up with them. It's post open house follow up. So what I recommend doing there is the same day that you had the open house, you actually sent out a mass text, say something about thanking them for coming to the open house. And ideally, you'd want to include a list of similar homes that are also in the neighborhood that are still actively for sale. Um, so you want to, you know, when you set up the alert, it's not just about, you know, setting up the alert. It's also setting the alert up and texting it to them on the same day. Um, for anyone that you don't get a phone number on, then you'd want to mass email them because obviously they're not going to get a text. Okay. Um, in addition to that, you can create through the smart campaigns that we went over previously a open house follow-up structure. And what that's going to allow you to do is make sure that you continue to follow up with the people that came to your open house. Because believe it or not, these people are out looking at homes live. They're typically the hottest buyers you're going to run across. So you really want to keep on top of them. So I do recommend creating a special smart campaign that associates directly to open houses. Um, I hope you guys found this information helpful. And feel free to reach out to support if you have any questions. We'll see you on the next video.